I don't do distraction. I'm coming back. Yo, what it do? It's your boy Juice and Lua. We back here with another episode for y'all. Special episode at that. You know, something uh came up as of recent. Some came up as of recent that we just have to address. Some NBA insiders made a list of the top twenty-five players under twenty-five. Yeah. Got a few problems with that list, so we're gonna go ahead. Let's dive right into it, Jay. Let's get it. Yep, like you said, top twenty-five list that just came out from ESPN NBA Insiders, and I'm gonna read you off the top ten players. Not gonna do the all twenty-five. We're just gonna worry about the top ten no, right now. So no. starting at ten, we got my boy Shy Gilgis Alexander from the Oklahoma City Thunder. 22 at 9 at 23 years old. Devin Booker at 8 years old at 7. De'Aaron Fox at 6, 23 years old. Tatum at 5, 23 years old. Don Mitchell at 24 years old at 4th. Romel Ball, 19 years old. Zion Williamson at two, 20 years old, and Luka Doncic, the number one player under 20 at 22 years old. Okay. Justin, Juice, how you feel? How you at top 10? It's terrible. It's terrible. Lamelo <laughs> is not top three. I don't know why we're sitting here talking about this. Why are we talking about this? Like, like mm-hmm. he should be, honestly, I was about to say something real wild, but then I really thought about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name all the players that's, that's better than LaMelo, for sure. That's on this list. Um, go ahead. I'd say first, I'd say John Collins. i say he's having a, a, a good year this year. Uh. Definitely, like more of a not more of an impact, but I, I I would just say overall, John Collins is the better player for Atlanta. Uh, I go John Morant. John Morant is definitely better than Lamelo. De'Aaron Fox is better than Lamelo. Uh, Jamal Murray is definitely better than Lamelo. Um, who else? Demontez Sabonis. He's twenty four years old. I think he's better than LaMelo. Brandon Ingram. I think he's better than LaMelo. Uh, now, Trey Young. It's iffy. It's iffy. But I can't say John Collins better and not say Trey Young. So, Trey Young is better. Jalen Brown, no, that's close. No, that's close because I think this is probably his best year in his career. This is this close. Yeah, Jalen Brown better. Jalen Brown better. Bam out of bio. My guy. He's better. Most definitely. Uh Donovan Mitchell is better. Ben Simmons is obviously better. Like, let's be real. Devin Booker. I'm trying to figure out why he wasn't in the top six. Why is he not in the top six? He's better than De'Aaron Fox. He's better than Donovan Mitchell. He's definitely better than LaMelo. Now, the Zion, I guess you can make a case, whatever. But he should be on that list for sure. Jason Tatum, he's better than he's better than LaMelo as well. Like, the whole list, I, I don't know if it's the rookie of the year hype because we, so, we grew up with him and all that other stuff. and. He came in the league. He's supposed to be better than his brother, all this extra stuff, you know. I I don't – that doesn't mean that you put him in your top three of under 25 when there's definitely – I think I just named about 10 players that's better than him. Like, it's, it's insane. It's insane. I think – I don't know if it's the NBA just, you know, uh, riding off LaMelo or whatever. But with Zion and, and LaMelo in the top three, I think that's that's ESPN's dream. 
That's their dream. But that, that's crazy. Lamelo should not be top three, not even top ten. <clears throat> um, you're wrong again. First of all, this uh, the list is. I think it's a solid list. I feel like it can be fluctuated a little bit. But you're wrong in the sense that I will, should be top five, in my opinion, to give it a stretch, I guess. But the wow. list is based, if you read the article itself, the top, it says that the list is based on potential also, their future potential. So with the game and how it's going, you know, six, five point guards and up starting to be the trend in the NBA. Like, you got Luka on this list, and at number one, what is he? 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, forward, who can play to one. So, you, we see how he's doing on the Mavs. They had him at the favorite to win MVP this year, but he's not in that race, really, in my opinion. Then we got Ben Simmons on this list. 6'10", forward. My God, can play one through four. Very good. Yeah, he can't shoot the ball, but he has elite passing, just like Lamelo Ball. But Lamelo can shoot better than Ben Simmons, of course. The only person on this list with who can do the same as Lamelo Ball is Luka Doncic, as in shoot the ball well, elite passing, getting making the team better. That's the only person I really see on this list that's okay. really on Lamelo Ball level in that terms. Then Devin Booker, yeah, I would I, I I get the argument. He can be he can be at uh four or three, and it will melt at four. I I I like that. That that would be solid. But I think he's, I think Lamelo is better than Mitchell. I think he'll be better than Tatum because you can build a team around Lamelo Ball. He's a cat. He can he's a dog. He'll go out there help your team get better. Darren Fox, he's better than him. I'm sorry. Fox is my boy. He's having a great year. But, but you also said you had John Collins better than Lamel Ball. As of this player. year. This year. John Collins is the second option on that team. A role player compared to the star of the team? No. Seriously? No. Then yes. you said John Moran. Yep. John Moran. Oh, my God. John Moran is probably overrated now. I ain't about to lie. He's overrated, in my opinion, now. Wow. He's shooting 25% from three this year. He's only shooting 44% from the field. Those numbers are not impressive, in my opinion. He's averaging 19 points, seven assists. Seven assists is solid for a point guard. But in the later years to come, like I said, he's going to be able to, he's gonna be able to shoot. He has to be able to shoot the ball. It's because he's going to fall down that Westbrook line if he can't. People are going to just start leaving him open, you know. Yeah, he's a flashy dude, but his game's not going to translate to wins. That's one of the main reasons why the Grizzlies have been struggling to win recently this year because I know Jaron Jackson's hurt, but John Moran's not playing that all good. Well, Ball, on the other hand, and there's another point on this list, Darren Fox, who I think is better than John Morant. But people, people have been arguing with me that – John Moran is better than Darren Fox. I just tell them that basketball reference. Darren Fox this year having a great year. Probably could have been all-star this year, in my opinion, with 24 points. Same amount of assists as John Moran. She was better than John Moran by three ball, 8% more. She was 47% from the field. I mean, come on. Darren Fox, he definitely deserves to be on this list. 100% top 10. The only, the only knock against him... His team's not really winning, but it's the Sacramento Kings, in my opinion. I feel like Luke Walton should be fired, too. Then you can debate him or Ben Simmons, honestly. I, I wouldn't be mad if people had Ben Simmons at six, De'Aaron Fox at seven, because Ben Simmons' defense is elite. Probably going to win defensive player of the year. But like I said, overall, you know, I think I, I like the list. I just tweaked a little bit things, but that's pretty much it for me. Do you have any honestly, rebuttal? Honestly, if we're bringing up potential, straight potential, you said these are your top five. He top okay. five, two, right here. Potential, okay. It's now, a mix of potential. Mix of potential. 
I'm going to say something real bold. And the end of their career, both of their careers, Lonzo will be better than LaMelo. Just because, listen, they both can do the same. Mind you, Lonzo's having a career year. They both can do the same thing. Lonzo is a better defender. Uh, I'd say probably a more consistent more shooter aggressive. as of now. He's more aggressive, but he has chances. Who on the who on the Hornets is is going to take the ball and make a play? That's not Terry Rozier. I mean, it took him out a while to start. That's not that name uh, somebody on the besides Terry Rozier who's going to score. Who's going to get the ball? Who's going to say, here, get a bucket, not a spoon fed bucket? Yeah, because Lamel makes the game easier for his teammates. You don't need to do that when you got Zion and Brandon Ingram. So Lonzo he doesn't get just... the chance. This brings back to what I was talking about a couple of podcasts ago. He doesn't get the chance to. He just dropped eight triples a couple of nights ago with 27 points. He, he, he's knocking it down. He's being better. He's a better. More IQ. He has more IQ. IQ can get you a lot I'd of places. I'd say the same level. No. Mm-mm. I'd say the same level. LaMelo is brother. only getting the hype that he's getting because of how more flashy he is than his brother. You think Lonzo is going to, on the Hornets, be better than LaMelo on the Hornets? You think Lonzo got going to get them top five? I think we're getting hurt. just as the same. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I feel like they'll be just as the same. He would he would take a back. I mean, needs yeah. to get a check. All right, now let me ask you this: though. And Devon if Lamelo got drafted into that Lakers organization that year, with Ingram, a young Ingram, young Kuzma, all of them, are they good in the West? Come on, Lamelo. Yeah. Yeah. They're they be, they want to be LaMelo. they want to be playoffs. They may I say Max probably seven seed. So they're going to make the playoffs, is what you're saying, with LaMelo instead of Lonzo. Who, who else did they have? They had Kyle Kuzma. They had Brandon Ingram. KCP, before a good KCP, I guess you could say. I don't even that know. Was where, that was center, KCP honestly. airballing free throws. Uh, not free throws, airballing layups. That was that KCP. Who was their big man? I mean... Yeah, that's the only problem. But I don't remember their big man. That's what I'm. That's no, what they I mean, had though. Julius Randle. But he was he good then? And he left. He, he was wasn't solid. good then, though. He was solid. He wasn't. No, no. You want to know why Kyle Kuzma looked good in the in in the NBA league or whatever it was? Uh, preseason. Or summer whatever it was. League. Summer league, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know why Kyle Kuzma looked good in summer league? Because Lonzo was there before he got hurt. Now, if LaMelo, LaMelo was there, LaMelo's doing that same thing? Yeah. I think, like I said, I think their IQ level was on the same page. I don't think the IQ level is on the same. So, I think he's just more, so, it, it's only, we're only having this conversation because LaMelo is more flashy than Lonzo. But he has more of a chance to have the ball in his head to do something with the ball because there's not anybody good enough around him to take the ball and do something with it besides Terry. Like, he's had Kyle Kuzma. I mean, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't, like, he wasn't there yet on the Lakers, but he still had Kuzma there. Like, he was taking, like, most of the shots. And then was it Rondo on that team? No, Rondo wasn't there yet. Which team? Rondo was no, Rondo Ron, there yet, Rondo no. only played last year. But um and and on this Pelicans team right now, he's not gonna have the ball with Eric Bledsoe, Brandon Ingram, and and, and Zion on the same court. He's not gonna get that opportunity. Like LaMelo. That's what I'm saying. If you put Lonzo in the in, in Lomelo's position on the Hornets, they're still gonna be in the same spot. They're still gonna be in the same spot. 
Okay, you talk about teammates. Lamelo. Okay, let me let me show you Miles Bridges' stats this past month without Lamelo Ball. <clears throat> Average eight points, two assists, six boards, roughly shooting thirty percent from three, fifty three percent from the field. Now, when Lamelo was playing, averaged eleven points, seven. Shooting 38%, shooting 52% from the field. That doesn't really, like, tell me anything, you know? Like, that, it, it, they it both only tells can make their teammates that, better. It only tells me that he scored three more points in better shooting. That's, that's, all, that's what he's that's doing now what for the Hornets. Me. What he's doing now is Lonzo would do the same thing, if not better. Long, I think Lonzo's a better passer than Lamelo. But I'm saying Lonzo, Lonzo better wouldn't passer. even be that aggressive because they would have Terry Rozier be the guy instead of Lonzo Ball. Lonzo would be second probably, but I, I still think Terry so Rozier Lamello's would be more first? aggressive. Yeah, and when he's playing. You don't think Terry's the first guy? Because I he think could Terry's be the first some guy. Nights, but I'm saying. If Terry Rozier and Lonzo, most nights it would be Terry Rozier. I say eighty to seventy-five percent of the nights, Terry Rozier would be that guy. Now with Lamel on the court, it's either fifty-fifty or sixty-forty. Lamel was that guy that night. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, if we're talking about potential, top five, maybe. Because I'm looking at these names. I see Brandon Ingram. Well, well, solidified in the top three is Luka, Zion, and uh, Devin Booker. I'm putting Ben Simmons at four. I think he has more potential than LaMelo. And I'm putting Jason Tatum at five. He's not in my top five. I got LaMelo above Tatum. And Possibly Ben Simmons. I, I I honestly don't think. I mean, will Ben ever Simmons. Win an MVP. I mean, he can do everything. You don't think will Mel win an MVP? Lamelo, I don't think he'll ever win an MVP. Oh Jason gosh. Tatum can win an MVP. I think. No, he yeah. won't. He can't lead his own team. We're seeing it right now. What are they eighth? That's not his fault. That's Kemba. Kemba sucks. Oh my gosh. Kemba don't suck. You could have said Kemba's Kemba doesn't suck. Suck. He can play point guard. He probably not the fit for their team. They need to let. But Kemba he can go. play point guard. They need to tell Kemba to, they need to trade him for picks or pieces on the bench. Make sure Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are happy. And you got your Tristan Thompson. You got your. This is what they got, wanted, though. This is what they wanted, but. Who knows if Marcus Smart's still going to be here after this season? That's tough. That is tough. Um, yeah, but LaMelo is a good player with great potential. I, I can definitely see him being on a conference finals team, but not a finals team. He'll take his team the, farther the, than the Five though. people. Mm. He'll take a team farther than Lonzo. See, but like I said, though, he that Lonzo doesn't get the chance to 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 really get the ball in his hands. Even this year, I wonder his why. breakout year. Even this year, his breakout year. He's having a bunch of catch and shoots. He's not. He's not creating his own shot because, like, he's not getting the chance to. The, he's seeing the ball go in the net a lot more than what he has in previous years. So that would mean he's getting confidence, and the confidence is going to lead him being more aggressive. He just needs the chance to do that. That's what that's that's what I that's what I think. But Lamelo, I do not think he's top five. Okay, top five. We'll see. Yep. All right. That's good. Uh, that's that's going to wrap it up, though. Just had to get that off our chest real quick. Um, next week, as promised, we still got the uh, NFL talks. And um, until then, it's your boys, Juice and Lou, and we out of here. All right?
Peace. Yo, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, turn post notifications on so you know when we post next. All right, peace.